You can do both of those, and I'm told that something's gonna happen. I'm right now in an elevator. I don't know if you can see, but I'm afraid of heights, so I thought this was much more my speed. They said try out this virtual reality. The elevator doors will open. I'm not sure exactly what. Oh my goodness! Okay, we're supposed to walk across this. So this is great. Now I'm falling to my death. So we are Chandler at Gravity Extreme Zero. Uh, this is a brand new place that opened a couple of months ago and it is for the adventurer. Let me tell you, they have everything here for um, from heights to virtual reality. Take a look behind you. That's the leap of faith. So the leap of faith, people climb up that, get to the edge, and then they have to jump across to this. They got rock climbing, they have stairway of heaven, and take a look at this obstacle course that is about 25 feet into the air you really have not much to hold on to and once you're on that you are committed we are here with Samir he opened this whole experience you did a lot of research and this is the only adventure park of its kind in the US that was the goal uh, the goal was to design something that just doesn't exist and uh, it's for adults it's for uh, kids high schoolers for everyone it's an event space uh, and they just come out here it's at the uh, 202 the one, 202 in Kyrene right in Chandler we're gonna show you that's a cool little chair that people can sit at that inflatable right over there that's bungee jumping is that not insane we're walking over to the slide I did this at five o'clock this morning I have to say the camera does not do this thing justice because it's probably 30 feet high so the marker at about five or six is about 15 20 feet and when you look at the cell phone video of what I just posted on Instagram it looks like I'm only actually five feet into the air they have trampolining again it's gravity extreme zero camp and let me tell you adults and kids alike it will test your fear of height so we're gonna get Samir over here and we are gonna test this out guys I got to five last time we'll see Brian. if I can get to six but you know Brian, I hate heights. I know you so. do if you get to seven and a half or eight I will buy you Starbucks for a whole week. I will. If you get to 10, I will Google the lyrics to a Taylor Swift song <laughs> and maybe say Yeah, something I'm going to say eight, eight now because I feel like this is really good. He has to turn it up to 11. So, this one he goes has to up turn to it 11. 10, 11, guys. Okay. We got to get to eight. What, does he just let go <laughs> when Daniel, he feels uncomfortable? Us, Daniel, the photographer, give us the countdown. Where's he at? Is that like one? Now he's at two. Ah, no, he's at three. three. He's at four. He's still holding on. He's still holding Brian, on. Brian, don't let Six. go. Why would he's you let go? He's going to do seven. Is he going to do seven? Ah, gotta get, no, oh. he didn't get to eight. What was it? What was it at? Just what was the final number? It. Could not seven, hold maybe. on. He couldn't do it. <laughs> seven. Brian! No, no, you're lying, Brian. Get that back in the gym, buddy. Seven. Oh. Maybe yeah. seven and a quarter. Does he need a <laughs> no, second shot? No good. He said no. It's, a Dan it's up to Daniel. Life is full of disappointments. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I'm upsetting Valiant you. Valiant effort, Brian. Always. Appreciate I'm you so as proud always. Of you.